Hey guys, that Mike Gamer back here for another video. Welcome back to another episode of Sniping Series of That Mike Gamer, episode 43, I believe. Um, real fast, before this video starts, I would like to just express one thing. I got a comment about this, so I just want to talk about this. Yes, the GOAT list is only for members or people, or only for people who would like to donate to me out of the kindness of their own heart. It's not, you know, it's not like I'm forcing anybody. I'm not telling, I'm saying if you want to, I'm not telling you to. And the giveaway is only for those people who do decide to donate that I'm giving away a card to them. So that's the only reason why I did the giveaway for the GOAT list members. I wanted to tell everybody. In, in the future, I'll just post it on that website. And if you're a GOAT list member, you can see it on the website. And then I'll choose whoever at the end of the month, whoever the winner of that giveaway is. And that's how it's going to work. I'm sorry for posting on this channel. I did not know it was going to, you know, get people mad or upset. So I'm sorry again if I did upset you by saying, you know, I'm posting on this channel the giveaway. Now, when I said that that money that is used for the GOAT list um, is going to be used to open packs, yes, it's going to be used to open packs. It's going to be used to open up, um, sorry, buy new equipment for the videos. And I do not recommend you open packs. I will never recommend you open packs. And the reason why is because packs aren't worth it. Now, the reason why I would be opening packs with that money is just because I'm trying to provide entertaining content to you guys. Just like I don't recommend you buy a team, I'm going to buy a team. You know why I'm going to buy a team? So I can show content to you guys to make you guys, keep you guys entertained and to all together make you guys happy. Now, I do stuff as a YouTuber because of that reason. If I wasn't a YouTuber, I would never open packs. I would never, um, you know, I would never, whatever, buy a team. I would never do this, that, and the third. And the reason why I do this stuff is because I'm a YouTuber and I want to provide content to you guys. So if you do donate, it's going to go toward a new microphone. It's going to go toward a new capture card. Or it's going to go toward packs that those packs I'm going to open. And then I'm going to show off on camera, like on, the, um, on videos. And then I'm probably most likely going to give away those cards back to you guys. So if I do use the money that you donate to open packs, I'm going to be giving the cards back away to you guys. This year already, I've already done a Tim Brown, a Bob Sanders giveaway. I already gave away two 300k cards. And now I'm doing a 70k card giveaway or 90k, whatever it is. So guys, you have to realize this. I'm trying to give back to you guys as much as possible. So any support you give me by donating, by joining the GOAT list... That money is going to help me out, give more back to you guys. So hopefully you understand that. And I know 99% of people who are watching right now understands that 100% completely. But the 1% that doesn't, I hope that cleared everything up. Yes, I will be opening packs and, you know, buying new microphones or buying new equipment for the channel if you do donate and you join the GOAT list. But not only... Are you donating and, you know, being really nice and find the kindness of your heart to donate? I'm also, there's rewards over there. I'm give, I'm doing giveaways for those members. You know, I'm giving a lot of stuff to the GOAT list members. So, yes, the GOAT list, if you would like to join it, it's up to you. Nobody's forcing you. You don't have to. I 100% love you the same if you don't, if you donate or if you don't donate. If you don't donate, it's the same thing as you do donate. I'm just going to put your name in the description if you do. And you know, whatever the rewards over there will follow. That's it, guys. So let's get right into this video. Sorry that started out on a down note. But let's get back into this video. And I actually did listen to somebody in the comment section. I will be talking good about EA Sports. I am sorry for talking bad about EA Sports. I will no longer talk bad about EA Sports. I will talk good. And, I, you know, the commenter was right. I was negative about EA, and I gotta stop that. Because honestly, they do provide the game that we play. So I'm gonna talk good about EA Sports. Let's see a set that I actually missed last Friday. Um, Cameron Haywood set. I did miss this set. I don't know why I missed this set. Football Outsiders come out every single Friday, and I have no idea why I missed it. Um, today is Tuesday. But anyway, so this is the new Martellus Bennett. This is his week four card. There's the stats. Now let's go over to um, Clinton McDonald. 
And this card is going to have 76 speed, 76, oh, 86 strength, 86 block jet, 86 power move, 70 finesse move, 83 play wreck, and 84 pursuit. Next one we have here is going to be Isaiah Crowell, who this season just looks amazing. I don't know why, but he just looks so good this season. Especially, he looks explosive when he gets, like, when he gets going, like, when he can get a, a, at all, like, a little hole, he's gone, it seems like, at, this year at least. He did it against Baltimore, and he's been getting a lot of good rushing yards ever since. So, it should be interesting to see what he can do this season. Obviously, you do need the collectibles, like always, and the collectibles are going to go for a good amount. And we, we're also going to talk about today is BCA players and Team of the Week players, and if you should invest in them or not. That's a little key tip. Someone commented, and I would like to talk about this in this video. So, we will be doing that. Um, Let's go to, I think, yeah, it's Elite. And he's either a left or right end. I think he's a left end. Let's see. Left end, elite. Okay. Is he on here? He might be a right end. I could be incorrect. Yep, he's probably a right end. And if I can't find him, I'll just look up Steelers. Okay. Yeah, he's, he might be a left end. Alright, let I should have probably just looked up Steelers to begin with. Hopefully he is on the auction house though. Is he a right end? Or left end I mean? Let's see. He is a left end. Now is he on here? Here he is. Okay, so he's 50k. This is his stats. 75 speed, 89 strength, 82 acceleration, 89 tackle, 92 block shed, 92 power move, 75 finesse move, 88 play wreck. Here we him compared with the Jay Howard. Uh Devin Taylor, JPP, and the arm set you get for completing the solo challenges. And now, let's talk about Team of the Week players and all that kind of stuff. So now that, as I said before, they're out of packs, um, now that the players are out of packs, it's not the best right now because of the fact that those Team of the Week packs in the game. But we have David Johnson, Darius Lay, and of course, you know, the upgrade sets. Now let's look at how much these players are going for. Now, again, I would wait to the weekend for this one, but I'm guessing the guy that commented meant last week's. Like, should we invest in the last week's one? And right now, over, let's actually see something. Um, if I can actually pull up my head on my computer, we can check real fast if the Team of the Week players are going downhill and then uphill during the week. So, let's see. Um, program... Team of the week. And guys, remember, you can always use mutthead.com to check on prices of cards and see how their price ranges throughout the week. So if their price is going to go down or up based on what day it is. And let's see the Team of the Week players, what their price does during the weekend. So, can I, there we go. So, of course, you don't see this right now, but I'm just going to read it off to you. So, it looks like on Saturday, Steve Smith. Hang on, let me, I got to check the dates of everything. Sorry. Today is going to be the 11th. So, 11th, he should be going for about 28K. So, Steve Smith was last week's Jimmy Graham hero set completion. Um, he should be going about 28K. He's 27 to 28k. So it looks like during Saturday to Sunday, his price went down. And now it keeps going down throughout the week. And it looks like actually on weekends, his price goes up. Which is kind of weird. So again, we don't have too much to go off of. Let's see another card that actually is longer. So what's week three players? We have um, T.Y. Hilton. Right now, T.Y. Hilton is... Is about a hundred K because the Sean McCoy is very valuable. Um, 86 overall TY right here. All right, let's see how his price fluctuated throughout the time because I think, yeah, this was three weeks ago, so it should, yeah, it should give us some kind of time. All right, so it looks like on um, his price go went up throughout the week. This is actually kind of weird. 
Hmm. Okay, so the only trend I can find, really, is that Saturday seems like the day that it's at its highest point, and then Sunday seems like the day where it's at its lowest point. This is definitely weird and not what I expect, but let's look at the gold cards, because the gold cards could tell a different story. So let's go to... Crap, let me go to players, and then let me go to Everson Griffin. Let's see. Everson Griffin. Alright, so right now he's going for about 6k, it looks like. Um, is that correct? According to the auction house, yeah, he's going for about 5 to 6k. And it looks like with him, Saturday's all going to be... Is Saturday? Hmm. It's, it's so weird how the, the market is fluctuating a lot different than it did last year with these Team of the Week players. So, for example, Saturday his price is at 9k. Sunday his price drops down to 7k. Monday it goes back up to Tuesday. Wednesday a little bit down. Thursday and then Friday it's at the highest point. And then it drops down Sunday to its lowest point. So, that's really difficult to really go off of. Especially with the fact that, you know, these cards... It seems like these cards are kind of unpredictable. Which, I was kind of feeling that they would be unpredictable, like, the price-wise. And, like, there would be no actual... Like, last year, Sundays... Saturdays and Sundays, the price was at the lowest. Because everyone was pouring packs. And then throughout the week, it would go up in price again. Right now, Crabtree is 13k. Can Crabtree be our savior so we can see um, what to do with this? Okay, so it looks like Wednesday's, Wednesday his price was 11k. Right now it's at 13k. It went down on Saturday to 7,500 coins. Sunday it went back up to 12k. Monday went up to 15k. And right now it's about 15k, as you can see. So, maybe Saturday. Let's see. It's... it's is there a trend here? What you want to look at when it comes to looking at the price of cards and how you can, you know, invest in them and how you can think about what the prices are going to be is to look at trends. So right now, there's only one time, one Saturday, where the card was actually at its lowest point. The other time it was at its lowest point was Monday. So, hmm. Right now, what do the packs guarantee? Let me see what the packs guarantee so I can kind of get a little glimpse at what why they might be it might be low so the packs are going to guarantee two okay so it's the same one as before which is kind of weird because these packs should be making these players go down in value and instead these players are kind of up in value which is kind of weird they shouldn't be this uh expensive so right now 17k i actually pulled him I pulled this card, so my other account. Definitely going to sell him. 12k. Again, it's because these cards are expensive. So when these cards go down in value, these cards are going to go up in value. I mean, when th those cards are expensive, that means these cards are going to be expensive too. 18k. So, I don't know. I can't really explain why, you know, these cards are kind of at a weird point when it comes to prices. I don't know if you can invest in the team of the week this year. Um, this year is it's definitely different than last year for the fact that last year you kind of could invest in them because you could, you know, watch the trends and stuff like that. But this year is a lot different. So I can't really recommend you do invest in them. Let me look at Zika Elliott and see if Elliott price is a trend. Again, guys, when I say trend, I just mean certain players their price if you see on saturdays for example this guy goes for the cheapest on saturdays guy goes for the cheapest throughout the week you can go back up in value when it's difficult when there's when it's like tuesday his price could be 20k right wednesday his price could be 5k next week over his price on wednesday is at 50k it's like what why, why is this price spiking usually it follows a, a pattern but it doesn't look like it's following any pattern right now Okay, so his price uh, what's called, went real high on October 4th. And then October 5th, it's, it dropped, and it's kind of went back and forth, up and down. So right now, Zeke should be going for 35k. Yeah, he's going for 35k. Okay, so 
I can't explain why his price is going up and down like this. Hmm. Should be a... There should be like sometime during the weekend where his price goes down, but doesn't look like that's the case unless many people aren't pulling packs. And that might be the only other reason I can think of. Um, these team of the weeks, uh, team of the week bundles should be knocking the price down of these cards. But I guess the only thing I can think of is if not many people open these bundles. That's the reason why the price of the cards aren't going down right now. Again, let's look at AJ Green week one card. Okay, so we have this card, which is going for currently 120k. And the reason why I'm guessing his card went up was because all the other cards probably went down. Or maybe something else. You know, it, it's kind of crazy to think about and weird to think about at the same time. But you guys can comment down below and tell me. Do you think these packs are actually increasing the price? And the reason why I would just assume that the, the uh, these packs are killing the price of these cards is because of the fact that... Like, these these packs, are, what they're doing is they're guaranteeing these cards. And that, actually, I just put the nail in the hammer. They're guaranteeing a Team of the Week card from this week and any week. But these three cards are what everyone is pulling. These three cards are what everyone, what everyone is pulling. Let me look at these. Draw Pyre, how much you go for? These three cards are what everyone's pulling. That's the reason why. But that means... Now, hear me out, guys. Is there a method if you invest into these two cards when these packs aren't in the game? Now, that's just a... I'm just assuming and I'm just making, you know... Now, he'd go for 6500 not that much. But... My assuming is that when Team of the Week packs come in the game, because it makes these other cards so cheap, let's say the other three gold cards, gold cards, what could happen is they are so cheap because everyone's pulling them out of packs, which means everyone's like, oh, hey, look, let me just complete the set because I already have three of the players, which makes the other players that aren't being pulled very, very expensive. So my method I'm thinking about, and you guys can correct me if you think I'm just out of whack and I'm completely stupid in this method, could it be if you invest into like, let's say, the first two most expensive cards when they're very down in price when Team of the Week packs on in the game, if you invest in those two cards and then once Team of the Week packs come in the game and then, you know, the other three are going for nothing because everyone's for the other three, I'm thinking the first two will go up in value. Again, I could be completely crazy when thinking this. Now, right now, he's going for 53k because Darius Slay just came out. But this, honestly, could be the method. And I could be 100% incorrect. So don't, like, 100% just go, oh, yeah, that's correct, and then go and do it because I could be incorrect. You never know with me, you know. I, I mean, you never know with the market. I don't think it's myself that's the problem. I think it's the market that's the problem. Because the market could at any time change. You could lose all your coins. So I never recommend you go all in. Maybe like 5% in or 10% in. But look at this set, right? These two are going for nothing. These two are going for a lot. Now, if once the set, let's say once this, um, the packs are out of the game. And if these two cards drop to around like 2 or 3k. And you invest into these. When the packs come back in the game. These could go back up to 10 to 13k. 10 to 15k. So that might be how you invest in the team of the week cards this year. And again, just hear what I'm take everything I say with a grain of salt. If unless, unless you actually 100 percent believe believe what I believe here, and then maybe, you know, a little bit investment. I never write these are the risky investments. I told you at the beginning of the year, I'm gonna give you guys the risky investments and the safe investments. Right now, there's no safe investments. This is the risky investment 100%. But this could, like I always say, the riskiest investments could pay off to be the best investments. And when they could be the best investments, sometimes it might be worth the, the chance. Now, also what that commenter said, 
how how can we invest in the BCA cards and Team of the Week? We look we just looked at Team of the Week. Let's look at BCA. So BCA cards, the way to invest, I don't know too many great ways, um, because it's not like, you know, once this these this set is out of the game, it's kind of out of the game, you know, there's no great way to invest. So I don't know. I don't know what great way there is to invest. I, well, I almost have enough cards to complete the set. It's kind of funny. I almost have enough cards to complete the set. Oh yeah, Eric Berry. Let me um, talk about him more fast. One second. But it's kind of funny. I almost have enough cards to complete that set. But with BCA, I don't know how many, how much, um, I don't know how how many methods are all to invest into BCA this year. He's going for 84k. Wow. So his price went down a little bit. I expected it to go down a little bit more, but it actually did not. So I don't. I don't. Again, BCA. We're gonna look at them on the auction block. But my opinion with BCA is because it's it's going to only be in the game for like two more weeks. I don't think there's many methods to invest in the BCA. So, and again, defense is coming out. Or offense is coming out soon. So that means that there's gonna be an offensive stuff. And I don't know. I mean, if you guys can think of a method, you can leave it down below, and I'll talk about it in another video. But I just don't think there's many methods to invest in the BCA this month. So, you guys can definitely tell me if you have any, you know, any voodoo methods. That you can think of, but I just can't think of one personally. Um, let's see, what player, what player? Thinking about what player, guys. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's any players to invest in. That guy just bought that guy. Wesley Woodyard, how fast is he? 84 speed, not too great. Sean Lee looks like a goon. We got Malcolm Butler. How good is Malcolm Butler? 89 speed. Let's see. Another BCA card. You know what, guys? You're not on the GOAT list. I'm going to give away for BCA, also for members not on the GOAT list. So, if you're on the GOAT list or you're not on the GOAT list, if you're on the GOAT list, you can enter the Eric Berry giveaway. If you're on the GOAT, if you're not on the GOAT list, you can enter the Malcolm Butler giveaway. Because I want to give away to both non-GOAT list members and GOAT list members. So, if you'd like to enter the Malcolm Butler giveaway, subscribe to the channel and comment down below if either what's your Halloween costume or... If you even if you're not going Halloween co if not going Halloween trick or treating, what would you wear if you could? Like if you were gonna go, what would you wear for Halloween? Comment that down below. And we're 24 minutes in the video, so those of those people that don't watch the whole videos won't know about this giveaway, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna post it on Twitter. I don't think I'm gonna post it on Twitter. Because I don't, you know what? I, I think I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna make this giveaway for the OGs that watch the whole video. I don't know. Mm, I might post it on Twitter. I don't know. Eh, I'm thinking about it, guys. I, I, I might post it on Twitter, but because just be, so everyone can have a chance of entering. Because I know some people, they might just not have time to watch a 23 minute video. So I will post it on Twitter. Um, I'm not going to make the name of the video the giveaway because I don't want people to just watch this and be like, oh, hey, let me watch it for the giveaway. I want people to watch it because they actually want to watch the video. So once again, I'll post this on Twitter. But those, if you don't follow me on Twitter and you don't watch the whole video, you're not going to know about the giveaway. I might make an annotation. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It all depends. But guys... Malcolm Butler and Eric Berry giveaway. Eric Berry is only for GOATless members only. So the guy right now who's entered in for that is Nate. Nate, my man, you are entered right now into the Eric Berry giveaway. If you guys do want to enter in for that giveaway, you go down below, you follow the link, you go there, you enter the GOAT list, blah, blah, blah. You entered in for the Eric Berry giveaway. If you'd like to enter in the Malcolm Butler giveaway, 
All you gotta do is comment down below and be subscribed to the channel. Comment down below what's your favorite Halloween costume. If you're all going trick-or-treating, what are you wearing? If you're not going trick-or-treating, what would you wear if you did go trick-or-treating? Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Well, outside is coming out every single Friday, and I have no idea why I missed it. Um, today is Tuesday. But anyway, so this is the new Martellus Bennett. This is for his week four card. There's the stats. Now let's go over to um, Clinton McDonald. And this card is going to have 76 speed, 76, or oh, 86 strength, 86 block jet, 86 power move, 70 finesse move, 83 play wreck, and 84 pursuit. Next one we have here is going to be Isaiah Crowell, who this season just looks amazing. I don't know why, but he just looks so good this season. Especially, he looks explosive when he gets, like, when he gets going, like, when he can get a, a, at all, like, a little hole, he's gone, it seems like, at, this year at least. He did it against Baltimore, and he's been getting a lot of good rushing yards ever since. So, it should be interesting to see what he can do this season. Obviously, you do need the collectibles, like always, and the collectibles are going to go for a good amount. And we, we're also going to talk about today is BCA players and Team of the Week players and if you should invest in them or not. That's a little key tip. Someone commented, and I would like to talk about this in this video. So we will be doing that. Um, Let's go to, I think, yeah, it's Elite. And he's either a left or right end. I think he's a left end. Let's see. Left end, Elite. Okay. Hey, guys. That Monkey Gamer back here for another video. Welcome back to another episode of Sniping Series of That Monkey Gamer. Episode 43, I believe. Um, real fast, before this video starts, I would like to just express one thing. I got a comment about this, so I just want to talk about this. Yes, the GOAT list is only for members, or people, or only for people who would like to donate to me out of the kindness of their own heart. It's not, you know, it's not like I'm forcing anybody. I'm not telling, I'm saying if you want to, I'm not telling you to. And the giveaway is only for those people who do decide to donate that I'm giving away a card to them. So that's the only reason why I did the giveaway for the Goatless members. I wanted to tell everybody. In, in the future, I'll just post it on that website. And if you're a Goatless member, you can see it on the website. And then I'll choose whoever at the end of the month whoever the winner of that giveaway is, and that's how it's going to work. I'm sorry for posting on this channel. I did not know it was going to, you know, get people mad or upset. So I'm sorry again if I did upset you by saying, you know, I'm posting on this channel the giveaway. Now, when I said that that money that is used for the GOAT list um, is going to be used to open packs, yes, it's going to be used to open packs. It's going to be used to open up, um, sorry, buy new equipment for the videos. And I do not recommend you open packs. I will never recommend you open packs. And the reason why is because packs aren't worth it. Now, the reason why I would be opening packs with that money is just because I'm trying to provide entertaining content to you guys. Just like I don't recommend you buy a team, I'm going to buy a team. You know why I'm going to buy a team? So I can show content to you guys to make you guys, keep you guys entertained and to all together make you guys happy. Now, I do stuff as a YouTuber because of that reason. If I wasn't a YouTuber, I would never open packs. I would never, um, you know, I would never, whatever, buy a team. I would never do this, that, and the third. And the reason why I do this stuff is because I'm a YouTuber and I want to provide content to you guys. So if you do donate, it's going to go toward a new microphone. It's going to go toward a new capture card. Or it's going to go toward packs that those packs I'm going to open. And then I'm going to show off on camera, like on, the, um, on videos. And then I'm probably most likely going to give away those cards back to you guys. So if I do use the money that you donate to open packs, I'm going to be giving the cards back away to you guys. This year already, I've already done a Tim Brown, a Bob Sanders giveaway. I would have gave away two 300k cards. And now I'm doing a 70k card giveaway or 90k, whatever it is. So guys, you have to realize this. I'm trying to give back to you guys as much as possible. So any support you give me by donating, by joining the GOAT list, that money is going to help me out give more back to you guys. So hopefully you understand that. And I know 99... Is he on here? He might be a right end. I could be incorrect. 
Yep, he's probably a right end. And if I can't find him, I'll just look up Steelers. Okay. Yeah, he's he might be a left end. Alright, let I should have probably just looked up Steelers to begin with. Hopefully he is on the auction house though. Is he a right end? Or left end, I mean? Let's see. He is a left end. Now is he on here? Here he is. Okay, so he's 50k. This is his stats, 75 speed, 89 strength, 82 acceleration, 89 tackle, 92 block shed, 92 power move, 75 finesse move, 88 play wreck. Here we him compared to Jay Howard, uh, Devin Taylor, JPP, and the arm said you get for completing the solo challenges. And now let's talk about team of the week, players, and all that kind of stuff. So now that, as I said before, they're out of packs, um, now that the players are out of packs, it's not the best right now because of the fact that those team of the week packs in the game. But we have David Johnson, Darius Slay, and of course, you know, the upgrade sets. Now let's look at how much these players are going for. Now again, I would wait to the weekend for this one, but I'm guessing the guy that commented meant last week's. Like, should we invest in the last week's one? And right now, over, let's actually see something. Percent of people who are watching me right now understands that 100% completely. But the one percent that doesn't, I hope that cleared everything up. Yes, I will be opening packs and you know buying new microphones or buying new equipment for the channel if you do donate and you join the goat list. But not only are you donating and you know being really nice and find the kindness of your heart to donate, I'm also there's rewards over there. I'm give I'm doing giveaways for those members. You know, I'm giving a lot of stuff to the GOAT list members. So yes, the GOAT list, if you would like to join it, it's up to you. Nobody's forcing you. You don't have to. I 100% love you the same if you don't, if you donate or if you don't donate. If you don't donate, it's the same thing as you do donate. I'm just going to put your name in the description if you do. And you know, whatever the rewards over there will follow. That's it, guys. So let's get right into this video. Sorry that started out on a down note. But let's get back into this video. And I actually did listen to somebody in the comic section. I will be talking good about EA Sports. I am sorry for talking bad about EA Sports. I will no longer talk bad about EA Sports. I will talk good. And I, you know, the commenter was right. I was negative about EA. And I gotta stop that. Because honestly, they do provide the game that we play. So I'm gonna talk good about EA Sports. Let's see a set that I actually missed last Friday. Um, Cameron Haywood set. I didn't miss this set. I don't know why I missed this set. Football